As the cabin settles and as these timbers contract, you may find that these vertical pieces such as window frames and door frames end up holding the roof of the cabin up whilst gaps start to appear around here. It's not a problem, the design of a Dunster House cabin takes this timber movement into account and we're going to show you some simple adjustments that will resolve it for you. All Dunster log cabins are designed to take into account timber movement. However, if you've done anything such as attaching shelves or trunking to a wall, this may also be holding up the timbers as they start to contract. It's very, very important you allow the timbers to move, so remove anything you may have secured to the walls. In each of the four corners of your log cabin, there'll be a storm brace. It's very, very important that this is attached. Make sure that above it, there's a little tiny bit of gap to ensure any further movement is possible. At the very bottom of the storm brace, there'll be a bolt going through a groove. The nut on it should only be a finger tight. This is to ensure that as the timbers move and as the cabin expands and contracts, this bolt can actually move up and down in the groove as the storm brace moves. If it's over tightened, this storm brace will end up holding up the roof, which is not what it's designed for, and it will lead to gaps. If this bolt is either at the bottom or at the top and there's no more room for movement, remove the bolt, re-drill, and place it back in the middle to ensure that as time goes on, there is room for further movement. At the top of each window and door, you'll find a Dunster House nameplate. If you remove this, you'll see below it there is a bolt. This bolt should also only be finger tight. This bolt is not designed to hold the window in place to this log. This bolt is designed to stop the window tilting and twisting to the left and to the right, which would stop it functioning. So again, this piece of wood here that it's screwed into must be able to move up and down around the window frame. So make sure this again is finger tight. If it is too tight, simply use a socket to loosen it. And if it's at the very, very top of the groove or at the very, very bottom of the groove, remove it and re-drill it so that it goes through the middle.